Good afternoon, today, friends. How are we all doing on this fine Monday? Although some of you might not be seeing this till Tuesday or Wednesday. So a couple of things housekeeping to do again. Very good. Well done, he says patronizingly about not asking any questions about uh, things from the last video. Please carry on in that vein. Um, secondly, um, oh yeah. I've had an idea because I've been thinking of doing the YouTube member thing for a while. Don't worry about it very much, like three, four, five pound a month or something. And there won't be anything that you can get free now that I'll start charging for. <clears throat> I'll just make some extra videos for YouTube members. And also you'll get advanced, um, an advanced screening, he says to sound pre 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 pretentious. Um, but all my people who've, if you've donated to my uh, buy me a coffee site they have to they sign up with all their emails and I can send to all so what I'm going to do with this video is make it and upload it today probably Monday or Tuesday morning and send the link and leave it and leave it private for at least 24 hours so they get something for what do you, do you get where I'm coming from so like the money isn't for nothing sort of thing so yeah so we'll try that and that'll be a good that's just dawned on me just now i'm doing that it'll be a good way of um practicing for the whole youtube thing and plus when i've got a bit of money again i'm going to um start having merchandise made because lorrydriver.com <clears throat> i love lorrydriver.com um it was a friend's idea originally is uh going to be used for everything like everything i do um from now on and in earning money wise, external TM um, training, stuff like that. We'll come back to training at the end of this video. But yeah, so watch this video. I can't remember how many there is now. I think there's at least three, but there's uh, maybe four. Uh, and again, from 2019, and there's some funny bits in here because it seems so long ago where I talk about Keir Starmer and Jeremy Corbyn. Um, it seems like a hundred years ago. <laughs> but there we go. Please do enjoy. The one with, it, with the pinch top. This is this is genius. I've never heard this episode before. This is absolute genius. Listen to this and the old stereotypical Jewish woman. It's absolutely hilarious. I gave you permission to come in here, in my room, and give orders to anybody. Take off your helmet. I won't take it off. Take it off when I tell you. My life, did you ever see such a boy talking back to his mama yet? Yeah, but I don't want to take it off, mama. This room isn't pressurized. Pressurized, pressurized. I'll pressurize you if you don't do as you're told. Your papa's waiting down the oh, grate for you to try that suit off. Now, now do me a favor. Are you coming or do I go to see you? Pressurized, I don't do it well enough. Why? How can I hear the program with all that shocking going on? You're disturbing the upstairs tenants, mama. Mr. Van Berg can't hear his radio. But that radio like he's got, who would want to hear it? But it's a good radio, man. So good he couldn't even get it wholesale. Then no fool him for buying it. Now, you should take that helmet off and come on down to Great Souls, or do I take it off for you? No, 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 I can't come yet. Range, you grab a cup of tea. Um, I like farm trans, Lou. Look at look at that. It's really, really, really quite sexy. It's a good look, that. It's a good look indeed. Hmm. This is a problem with. Uh, Actually, I can look if I. Uh, can I see? Yep. Service areas. And they always make trucks give way. Which is a pain in the ass when it's on your blind side. Even Gloucester. And it's stupid. This should all be... This should be giveaway. And this should be free flowing out. In my opinion... <laughs> right, back to... Jet Morgan. And journey into... Sorry, I'm doing it wrong. Journey into space. It's bloody roadworks. I saw the sign again until 2022. Yay! And they're going to call them digital motorways, which is ridiculous. Thank you, sir. That's quite let me out. Another one look I like is Cleaner and the various companies, Sir Morgan McLaren and Robsons. I didn't realise they're taking over Robsons. It's a good look, I think. I 
I've always liked it when companies do that, when big companies do that. When they retain names, but they have a, a one look across the across the company. So like that, so Galena is retaining Morgan McLennan. Robson's, whoever else they've taken over. But adapting the Galena. Oh God, I'm rambling, aren't I? You know what I mean. I just like it. Shut up. Here we go. We're about to go inside the M25. Motorway 25. Motorway 25. Into the Ring of Horror. That's my new nickname for London. The Ring of Horror. It's always worth getting in the middle lane past this bit because everybody in this lane one will, or well, lane two, will be trying to get into lane one. As you all see. Oh, nearly there. Oh, look at that beautiful old babs. Twenty k's to go. See, look, how it is faffing around, deciding what to do. It's when they like go when because if you're in lane one, they'll often like come zooming in right in front of you and jam on the brakes, and it's like, well, that made sense. You effing morons. To the ring of horror! Here we are on the flyover when I used to come with Dad. <clears throat> we used to do Smithfield. Hitting the flyover was, you're in the big city now! Obviously, coming from West Wales. We're in the big city, the ring of horror. Indicate left because we're turning off. Doo, 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 doo. All these buildings are very new. Remember the most of them being built? Well, that one's like five minutes old, but like the GlaxoSmithKline one and whatnot. I remember when it was all fields around here. I don't, obviously. There's houses down there, I've never seen them before. Nice little park. I wouldn't swap though. <laughs> Once upon a time, I loved where I have lived in London, and I loved it. I nearly went to live here again, but not really me anymore. Lampita does me. I see you take up two lanes, so that's. Well, you decide what you're doing. Look at that machine on the back of there, it's like some sort of Hummer pickup. What a beast. God, what is that? A Navistar. That's quite funky, isn't it? I like that a lot. interested about this little shanty town here, like you know, some bloke's house. Um, it's always got boards, like saying stuff, and normally you can't read it because it's too dark. Attacked by Asian male in blue saloon, spits in my face, aged about 25. All right, did you tell the police? Yeah, you gotta feel sorry for people. I mean, it's easy to. London, the hellhole of Europe. Mm -hmm. Off to something like Stalin. Oh, there he is. All right, old boy. Some of your garbage. Yes, it says there. <laughs> he's looking at his BMW. Don't think he knows what he's doing himself. Act on! Well, possibility. I don't think Joe or anyone. 
There we go, it looks like chaos already. <laughs> Is he waving at me? And now we live in the darkness of night. It's uh, 10 to 10, got there at 7, so that's um, 10 to 10. Look at this STS, it's quite a tidy machine. Um, waved. I don't know, might be a video watcher. Uh, what was I saying? Three hours. A lot of drivers moan about waiting around, but we're paid by the hour, so I don't really give a shit. Obviously, I don't waste time. But places like that, you as quick as you are, really. It's not really within your power to uh, speed things up. Mm -hmm. So, uh, 10 o'clock. It means we've got two and a half hours left. Start at half nine, so we've got two and a half midnight. So we'll get a little bit out of the road. A good thing about Mansell and Devious is they've got like snap and everything. So you just pull into a service and park up. And you know what? It's bloody, it makes for a much less stressful life. Not having to find parking. So that's me done for the day. Nine hours and one minute. Just over nine hours driving. Which is, um... Fine. Do you know what? The thing is, like, with stuff like that, I'm never going to need to do two tens in my working week anyway, so it's not a big issue. Just a quick one. It's 2 a.m. One of my pet hates for service areas is inconsiderate arseholes. Some bloke over there reversing constantly. Three trucks so far. It's not a problem because I'm not sleeping. Parked next to me for short breaks, and all three had their bloody reversing beepers on. Reversed further than they actually needed to anyway, when they could have just driven straight out of the space. Turn the fucking reversing beepers off. It's the middle of the night. They do not need to be on. And don't come back with me saying you can't turn it off. Yeah, there's occasional few, but not three or four in a row. Sorry, just get some of my tits. Be a bit more considerate, people, please. And don't sit there with the engine running for like 15 minutes as well. <clears throat> I could crush a grip. So in my world, it's Tuesday morning, but it's actually Friday morning. Second day of my working week. Do, do, do. Just left Lee Delamere. Lee Delamere! such a difference being able to park in service areas. I've always worked for companies that, while they don't say you can't, prefer you didn't. And to be fair, that's fine, because they were all companies where you had to pay yourself and then claim it back, and that's a lot of money to be paying yourself. But we've got like accounts and staff and all that and everything. So, just drive until your hours are up, plonk you in the services. I mean, nowadays, Three tyres, three, only, you'd only have to spend three nights in a week in the services and you could be spending 100 quid of your own money on uh, parking that you had to claim back later. And with a lot of the companies, you don't know when you're going to get back to the yard to claim it back. So, this is a much better way. So anyway, down to less than now, we're about three hours away. You saw trailers there. You ready about three o'clock? It'll be dropped there, the tr farm trucks will be filling it up during the day. And then I'll take you down to Half West, first milk Half West. Until there, and then who knows? We've got to go back to the yard, sort of lorries. Uh, I'll probably try and get me tomorrow, I wouldn't be surprised. But we'll see. Maybe act on. I shall speak to you later on. I need to say Bertie. No. We need to stop for bacon. We do indeed. I mean, so very so. Into Gumry we go, and great old Gumry. There's big signs at the beginning of the bridge saying Prince of Wales Bridge. Is that what it's called? Um, I've not seen those signs before. I think you. Seven Estrella. Have a foot west! Have a foot west, it's the 
place for me, help with worse. Where I drink tea, because I'm murdering up tea right now. On the flask, you nitwit. That's one of those old fashioned phrase uh, insults, isn't it? The had in school. Nitwit. Um, gay lord. <laughs> oh, uh, what else was that? Brat. You know, maybe it was like Brat anymore. Or Pillock. Truck and driver food column is about eating healthily and stuff and uh, making stuff to take with you. And uh, I eat veg, some veg, like it's just normal fruit, like pepper. And uh, I love peppers. So tasty. Do that. Carabans, little bags of carabans, they're a great snack on thing. Snack on thing. They're a great thing to snack on. Nearly at that now. now. Wash this trailer up, drop it, pick up another one, down to Ireland West. trailers. Like I say, a lot of them. The new ones have a little push button in here. It's called SIP, CIP, Cleaning in Progress. And have some news there. I hope you enjoyed. Oh. Um, so, one video, top tips video, I've shied away from for many, many years and so many people ask me to make one because it's something people need to know is driver's hours. I've shied away from it because it's like a fucking um, <clears throat> shark tank of... Yeah, so I've been... I'm downloaded the legislation. I'm going to read it again. I did read it once years ago, but I'm going to read it all again. And I'm going to try and make, hopefully that won't last any more than an hour. <laughs> A video about the uh, pointlessly overcomplicated driving hours. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try and write that. That's going to be have to be something I write. And I'm not going to be able to do that one off the top of my head because obviously, you know, the basics off the top of my head, you can drive for seven hours and twenty-one hours in a day and all that sort of thing. <laughs> so yeah, that'll be a future one. And I think that's it. I'm now going to the shops. I've got a lovely bit of roast lamb for my dinner. I, I've become a bit obsessed with cooking while watching cooking videos on uh, YouTube and I was lying on the sofa watching it's going to make me sound such an idiot I was lying on the sofa last night watching a, pro, uh, a video about how to cook eggs <laughs> and then I had to go and make some eggs at midnight because I was hungry and I wanted eggs You've always been a freak Fuck off Okay So, wise words from Bertie again Oh yeah, sorry, that was a good do driver's hours. And the reason why is I've been having, I'm on some of these external TM Facebook pages and it's amazing how, like, it, like I proved one, I pointed out how one chap was wrong because he talked about um, a break. So like a 45 minute break, not a rest, a break. You need to be freely um, able to dispose of your time. Is that that's, the, that's the phrase, isn't it? Um, <clears throat> and I corrected him. I said, no, that's wrong. That only, that's only the case for rests, for breaks. Like you can have breaks on site or anywhere, as long as you're not working. Is basically. But my God, he went on and on and on, and he kept going on, even though I kept posting screenshots of the actual fucking legislation. On and on, 
proving, trying to prove me wrong, thinking, and then he ended like it's like fifty odd comments of me backwards and forwards because like when I get going, I'm like a dog with a bone. Um, because it doesn't stress me, I find it funny, it's entertaining. And he went on about me being gobby and argumentative, and it's like... What? <laughs> All I did was remain polite, and it's always funny, the ones that who... um, It's always the argumentative ones that claim you're argumentative, and it's like, if you're having a lot of arguments, that's probably something to do with you, sir, not me. And like I said to him, just admit you're wrong. Like... Um... He was worrying that he's a driver CPC trainer, and it's partly the reason why drivers think the driver CPC is shit. And I'm a defender of the driver CPC. And then you get instructors like him, and you realise why it's so bloody difficult. <clears throat> um, what was I saying? I was going somewhere then. Oh, for fuck's sake! Yeah. So anyway, so he was just adamant he wasn't wrong. Went on and on and on and on and on, even though, and I said to him three or four times. You're disagreeing with legislation, not me. You're disagreeing with legislation because it's there in black and white. Breaks. Um, <clears throat> hang on, let me um, get my iPad. Now my neighbours are making so much noise. Stop it, I'm going to make a video. The old biddy next door. <clears throat> Here's me going off on a fucking tangent again. Um, my friend came to visit in 2019 and I had a car then obviously, so she, he parked in her car parking space. There's never anybody in parked in this car park, a little parking area. There's one up the end, and it was used to be me in the middle, but I'm not there anymore. Um, and she left a snotty message on his, uh, a bit of paper on his windscreen, like she could have just knocked on the door. Um, but apparently she does it with the letting agent as well. She, um, she complains because the letting agent sometimes parks there. And, um, yeah, and she th um, said to Kath, uh, the other neighbour, saying, next time I'll let down his wheels and tyres, and it's like, how the fuck are you so possessive about a piece of tarmac? Um, <laughs> I just find that absolutely baffling. There's never anybody, I've never actually seen that space used for her. Anyway, tangent back. So yeah, basically, I'll, obviously I'll cover this in the videos. But yeah, this bloke was adamant that um, he needs to be able to freely dispose of his time. Break means any period during which a driver may not carry out any driving or any other work and which is used exclusively for recuperation. That's it, that's what it says. And rest means any uninterrupted period during which, dri which a driver may freely dispose of his time. And a lot of people get caught out by that. But, um, yeah, so... Don't know why I bother putting that into this video, but, uh, yeah, so, um, yeah, so I'm going to go to shops now. So, yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah. So yeah, I've got a lovely bit of lamb for tea. Mmm, blah sauce. Uh, it'll be on YouTube, on um, Instagram. Uh, thanks for watching. Good day.